Boker Tov, everyone. This day, it is Gavalt. What is today? Monday, April 13th, in the middle of Pesach, Pesach Passover, called Cholomoed. It's going to be brief this morning. We are expecting uh, thunderstorms to the area. My usual office out here is going to have to close, uh, but I want to give us a quick teaching. So, you know, everyone, most people know the story well. Pesach, freeing of Egypt. And Moshe, Moses, our teacher, goes to Pharaoh, says, let my people go. And there's a famous, you know, uh, old spiritual with that phrase, which is beautiful. And the Torah, you know, that's what it says, shlach ami, send my people out. Basically, that's what Moses says, send my people out to Pharaoh. And it's famous in the movies and the Charlton Heston version and everything. Let my people go. But there's a second part to the verse. It says, shlach ami, ev ya'avduni, ya'avduni. Shlach, send, ami, my people, send out my people. That, that's clear. But the second part is, v'yavduni, so, so that they will serve me. Me with a capital M. Serve God. So Moses goes to Pharaoh and says, you know, free the people, free my people. Send them out. It's not just let them go. It's let them go so that they will serve God. And my brief teaching this morning is that second part to serve God, such an important question for all of us, especially, thank God, as Americans, is not only about the importance of freedom, which is sacrosanct, not only in our community, in our country, but really the importance in the Torah and the idea, I would say conceptually across the world, that the right of individuals to be free, to have liberty, the idea that they can do, by and large, what they wish to do with their time, with their life, to choose their own destiny, to to be, uh, you know, freedom of thinking, freedom of ideas, and freedom in every single assembly, etc. You know, it's the basis of our constitution, of our Bill of Rights. But Vyavduni, the key question is not only about why we're free, it's what we're free for. What are we gonna do with our freedom? I've heard people say to me, you know, look, uh, you know, Rabbi or Eric, I'm gonna social distance. Actually, most of our current this isn't the case. This is actually a case with a particular I won't name this person, but it's not from our congregation. Said, so, yeah, but but those people that choose not to socially distance and and to kind of ga- gather in churches on Easter, for example, or even in some some Jews. I mean, it's very few, but there were some in the Haredi community. It took a while getting. They said to me, you know, look, uh, they're making a bad mis- choice, but that's their choice. You know, that's their freedom. That's what our freedom of our country is about. And you know, <laughs> it's not just about freedom. Freedom without morals freedom without values and freedom that we are grateful for and indebted for, indebted to, and therefore we serve something greater. You know, the most powerful things in my own lifetime was after 9-11, I happened to be living in New York with my wife, with Jenny, and afterwards there were people across the country who served, you know, I'm not getting here to politics, the war in Iraq, but chose to serve because they believed that to be, you know, famous line, freedom isn't free that to be free and to have freedom also ideally, the Torah teaches us, connects us to responsibility, connects us to a desire, a responsibility to do something with that freedom that commits us to ensuring the freedom of others and to helping others. So yes, you have the right to gather under normal circumstances until you threaten my life and other people's lives. Going to Easter services or in certain Jewish community or other communities gathering, yeah, I mean, it's your free choice, theoretically. But not in these circumstances when your free choice can threaten the lives of others. That's not free. Freedom for the sake of freedom is in itself idolatry. Freedom that is focused in responsibility for others. Now that is freedom, responsible freedom, mature freedom. Um... I give you a million examples, but you know, counting the Omer, walking from Passover to the holiday of receiving the Torah. It's the message again, the Torah. It's not just about being free, although being free is important. It's principle, it's elemental. It's about committing yourself to doing something with your freedom that has lasting value outside of yourself. The same thing goes when we left Egypt. We left Egypt in order to receive the Torah, not just to be free unto itself. I think the, the key question for us now is we are forced to limit some of our freedom. We are forced to do that for the sake of security of others. 
And one way to look at that is in, in a sense of that's against our American right. And another way to look at that is say, is that what makes us Americans? That's what makes us part of this country in this community is we feel responsible with our freedom. That is the message. That makes us Amer connect to Americans opposed to just saying anarchists. I'm connected. As a Jew, I'm responsible for others, other Jews, other people in my, in my country, and others across the world. And that's why I do what I do. Yes, I have freedom, thank God. But I'm willing to t dedicate my freedom to being responsible for others. That is the message of the Torah. Shlach Ami, send my people out so that they can serve me. Not so that they serve themselves. That is the key to the Torah's message of freedom. Boker Tov, Modim Simcha. Stay safe, everyone, in the Wake County, North Carolina area as these storms come through. Please, God, all should be safe. Be true. Bye.